I'm just, a, I'm real good. As a matter of fact, I just got done looking at different websites containing Lamb of God. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're, we're, we're out there. Um, how did you guys How did you guys come up with the name Lamb of God, can I ask? Uh, well, it was kind of a, a almost reaction to our previous name. We used to be a band called Burn the Priest, and we released our first first album under that name. And it just, it didn't, you know, we were, we were making a little bit of waves and stuff, but it, it really didn't suit us, you know. It, it, people got a little too fascinated by that shock value name, and then it, it's hard to take the music seriously. We definitely take the music seriously, so we just kind of came up with Lamb of God because we thought it was an interesting sort of dichotomy with the previous name. You know? And you guys have a new uh, album out. It's called As the Palaces Burn. That's right. And uh, how does that compare to your first album, The New American Gospel? Well, I think it's a, I think it's a more mature record. It's a little more song-oriented, where on New American Gospel, it's like, you know, just one brutal riff after another, after another, after another. And, and Palaces is certainly as heavy, but it's a little more written toward the song and the arrangement. It's a little more concise a unit, you know. I saw something on the internet about your singer, Randy Blythe. Yeah. Uh, somebody was talking, I believe it was blabbermouth.net, about how they uh, would assume that Randy must gargle with broken glass <laughs> because of his sound of his voice. Yeah, he's got a pretty scary sound of voice. And you guys just, uh, you were over in uh, England, I believe, what, last month? Yeah. With, with yeah. Slayer, right? Yeah, we did some stuff with Slayer over there in England. Now, how, how, how'd that go? Oh, it was amazing, man. You know, it's the kind of stuff you dream about when you're, you know, first picking up the guitar. Like, I want to open for Slayer, you know. And then, no, you know. So is the, is the, is the, uh, like, doing it. The, the rock scene that you guys uh, usually play to, is it different over in England compared to the States? I mean, do they accept the heavy stuff as much as we do here? I think more so. I think metal is a lot bigger in, in Europe. Really? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, it's coming around here and uh, helped a lot by some of that new metal stuff a few years back, you know, when people started using double kick drums and heavy guitars again. But, like, you know, traditional thrash metal and all that stuff is, is really much bigger in Europe. So how would you describe Lamb of God as death metal or thrash metal? What would you say? You know, all those all those categories, are they, they kind of become kind of silly after a while because they got a category for every every possible type of metal but you know i guess ultimately we're thrash metal you know we'll, okay uh, we kind of came up on the panteras and slayers and one interesting thing about you guys too is you have a song that's on the uh, freddy versus jason soundtrack yeah yeah that's kind of cool yeah that'll be cool man there's uh, 11, 11th hour is the track and we just uh, released a video for that they're playing it on headbangers ball and on fuse okay since you guys are on the soundtrack i've got to ask you dude who's gonna win freddy or jason <laughs> how about jason you think Jason's going to win? I think Jason's going to win. You know, just an interesting side note, I actually met uh, and hung out with Kane Hodder, who played the original Jason. Really? Uh, yeah, it was kind of cool, man. Got a picture taken with him holding his, the original mask. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, so I, I thought it was kind of cool to see that you guys were on the soundtrack, man. Yeah, it'll be fun. And you're on tour right now with Anthrax. We are, man. And uh, you guys are going to be in Peoria uh, Saturday. Okay. And uh, at the Exposition Gardens, and it sounds like it's going to be a good time. Um, what time do you usually uh, go on? Uh, we generally, we've been going on around 9.30, quarter to 10. So you guys are going right before Anthrax, I take it? We do, and there's a band before us from New Jersey called E-Town Concrete. Okay, and uh, it's an all-ages show. Of course, if you're 21, you can drink if you have an ID. And uh, Anthrax, Lamb of God, and what's the other band? E-Town Concrete. Okay, and I also hear there's some, uh, even more bands than that, uh, maybe some locals or something. There's probably some local openers that I don't know about yet. Okay, and you guys are from uh, Richmond, Virginia, that is correct? That's right. Okay. And uh, you guys formed, what, for the fall of 1999? No, no, that's about when we became Lamb of God. But Burn the Priest, is, you know, was our first band, and that was probably in, like, late 94, early 95. Okay, how, how, have the, uh, how has the tour been going so far, the Taking the Music Back tour? You get a lot, of, a lot of enthusiastic fans? Absolutely, man. Great shows, and it's given us a chance to to play in front of some folks that wouldn't necessarily come to see a Lamb of God show, so we're getting exposed to, you know, Anthrax's fans, and, uh, you know, they're getting turned on to some, some new style metal, and uh, the show's been going great. Awesome. Well, we wish you the best of luck. I will definitely see you at the show uh, on Saturday, man. Sounds great, man. I appreciate you calling up, Mark, and good luck on the rest of the tour, bro. No sweat. Thanks a lot, Derek. See you later, man.